I've recently found the motivation to start a project I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's a good thing I still have my van. This is the attic. I actually just recently found out I had one a couple years ago. Uh, yay. Floor. And I ran across a few 20 or so bats. I'm making progress. Building a subfloor above the wiring, cutting out notches. You can see I'm doing everything through this little opening in the floor. I built like a ladder kind of going up the window sill. So it's very, very interesting. Climbing in and out of this hole to do all the work. Eventually I want to open up the wall here, but I don't want to do that until I have the money to build that exterior part because otherwise we'll have a big hole in the wall. Watch out, Jake, I'm coming down. No, I have to cut notches in it for the wiring. The thing that I've been stumped on for the longest is what to do with all the wiring. So once I realized I could just build around it and I wouldn't have to pay somebody to rewire my whole house, that's when I decided to get busy. There are a lot of hard work, dirty work, messy work, itchy work, hot work. I have almost finished the floor in my attic. I just want to say thank you to my son Jake who helped me haul all these boards up through the opening, otherwise I would have died doing it myself. And it's worth mentioning, this surgical mask is one I've had for years in my tool drawer. I put a paper towel on the inside of it to keep it fresh for myself, so nobody thinks I'm taking them from anywhere that may be more important. This is just the beginning of one of the biggest projects I've ever done. I cannot wait to show you the finished project.